And welcome to your Go Market update for the 18th of May 2022 with Mike Smith, your senior analyst for Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news wires. Of course, overnight we continued a recovery on Wall Street from the recent lows. We had a broad based rally on positive global data out of the UK and the Eurozone. GDP and employment numbers both better than expected and positive retail sales from the US. Also, we've got a little bit of a good feeling about some positive retail earnings, which we talked about yesterday coming out of the US and some good news out of China in that Shanghai have zero new cases of COVID, raising hopes that we may get some relaxation of lockdowns and a return to business as usual. Uh, US futures are trading around about neutral in early Asian trading. We did start slightly higher, but just dropped back a little bit. Asian indices are all to the upside following that strong US lead overnight and European futures are pointing to a higher open. The US dollar index dropped to two week lows on that equity market strength and gold remains weak despite that USD weakness and looks to test 1800 to the downside again. Perhaps it's trading around about 1815 at this stage. All is trading near neutral and copper moved above that key 420 level around about 423 at this stage in the day. Uh, the VIX dropped again and is very settled below 30, moving towards 25, which is a key level. Uh, and Bitcoin is still trading around that critical 30,000 level after failing to break through not only the day before yesterday, but yesterday also. On the data front, it's not a massively busy day, but the figures are important. We have UK PPI and CPI out and US housing data this evening. We also have a, quite a significant amount of data coming out tomorrow. So just be aware that risk remains medium to high at this stage. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that catch in our eye. Uh, we'll start with the uh, Swissy Yen. Now we looked at this yesterday in our, on our daily update live session and you can see it's had two attempts now to break this 130.50 and failed and we are getting a uh, candle which may be saying we've just had enough of that for right now and if we look at the short term chart on a 30 minute chart you'll see there's the top of that range which it failed to break again there's the bottom which was previous resistance at 129.28 and you can see here what we've got is a an attempt to break through 129.97 so we've just moved through that 130 level and although we've had one rejection in this particular candle this could be worth keeping an eye on as we move to the next candle as well if we do break through that then there's obviously around about 60 pips uh, to potentially look at there on the ASX we discussed travel stocks previously and we see Qantas doing a nice break today to continue that bounce off the 200 MA at 515, which is a really important technical level. So we've seen it move up through a potential short term resistance at 550. And if we just pull this chart back, you can see how really this is quite an, in, an interesting point as well. And so we're seeing Qantas with a potential move up to around about that 585 uh, resistance uh, that we hit. Uh, not only at the beginning of May, but also uh, was prevalent between September and October. So some significant buying pressure coming into this. Volume's a little low at this stage in the day, but certainly if we carry on with this momentum that we see, get some buying towards the back end of the session, we could see a reasonable of our amount of upside in this could pause uh, around about 5.65. Uh, but looking at where it is now up to that resistance, it's a fairly healthy 5% potential target. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.